Take the kid, man. All right, come on, let's go. Here's the kid we're looking for. All right, you're safe now. Stay down! Gun, gun! Oh, no, 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 please! Please! Power Season 6 has been one of the top 10 highest rated shows in TV series history. With the huge fanfare and some great characters, it's easy to understand why so many people love the series. In this video, we're going to go through the top five power characters you wish could come back that have been killed. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for a wonderful Christmas gift, check out my link in the video description for the Rosa Parks American Hero t-shirt series. I'll be bringing a bunch of these American heroes. And if you are a cord cutter looking to get some good free streaming, check out the link in the video description. Number five on the list. So, this is it. This is your revenge. It's not personal, Milan. Just business. I underestimated you. No, you underestimated us. We could have killed you in the club, Milan. We wanted you to know that we outsmarted you this time. So you die here. He was a thorn in the side of Ghost and Tommy for a long time. He had an elaborate plot that caused them a lot of issues. And he even popped up at the St. Patrick's home to have dinner. And that was the last straw for him when we knew Ghost and Tommy was gonna find a way to overcome this adversary that I really, really enjoy seeing on the big screen. And number four. I didn't, but I still didn't do it. We gotta kill Lobos. Easy. You massage my calves. Here's where I get off. One day, you will find me so standing right here. The weird and quirky Felipe Lobos. He was the first distributor for Tommy and Ghost. And this guy was very, very weird, eccentric, bisexual. And he created a lot of story plots that really, really helped to boost the story. And I would have loved to see him have to interact with some of the other bosses that was a threat to Tommy and Ghost. Number three. It was a good run, Proctor. This ain't fucking over. It is for you. My guy, Proctor. When he died, a part of me went with him. You talk about a lawyer that'll do anything for his client. This guy was a better lawyer to ghosts than Rudy Giuliani has been for Donald Trump. He done everything to help his guy. And in the end, he was truly loyal to Ghost. But at the expense of Tommy, he died. And fans are still wondering right now what is going to happen with that little scan disc that his daughter, Aliza Marie, currently has. Considering that Cousin Benny is dead, we also want to know where is Aliza Marie? What is she doing? I guess we'll find out moving forward. Number two. Angela Valdez, yes, the sweet chick, the roundaway girl who created probably the biggest story plot on the whole series died last season and a lot of people didn't know how much they was attached to her until she was gone but having said that the show moved on they've been able to keep a good story going but i would love to have seen her come back and seen what kind of mischief she could have made on this season considering all the things that are closing in on ghost by himself with his dynamics and with him being shot, it would have been a great story to see how she could have played a role into the whole thing. And number one on the list. <coughs> Pro 
probably the most ruthless individual in power history, that dude Kanan. You want to talk about someone who was cold-blooded, who was callous, who was calculated. It was Kanan. The only one he really showed love for was the person he basically sacrificed his life for, and that is Tariq, which leads a lot of us to believe that Tariq is gonna go on to lead a spinoff and maybe turn into the next cold calculated Kanan who a lot of us wish could come back to join in the menagerie that has been Power Season 6. Please let me know who did I leave off this list that you really, really wish could come back from any season of Power. What are you all looking forward to in the next five episodes that they have for Power? And what are your expectations for the spinoff? If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to the channel. And you can also make a donation through our Patreon link. It is in the video description. And be sure to go and check out our Rosa Parks American Hero t-shirts. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.